I don't need to be looking like a lumber jack. This is my hyphenated room. Oh, Kylie, go. go, Kylie, go! I've never spent that much on an art piece. That's when you know it's a good talk. Welcome to Megan Moe's with TK. Vintage tennis rackets. Yeah. In my lumber jack era. I was trying to decide what skincare products I wanted to use today. I like pretty much stick to the same, but lately, because I haven't been breaking out, I've been obsessed with this road glazing milkshake. Haley Bieber is really onto something with this one. It doesn't break me out, which is like insane. I will say, if you have like active acne, I don't know what this will do to your skin, but it's very, very light. That seems very gentle, which I like. When I had active acne, I like thought that like if I put something on and it burned, it was like helping it. The reality is, is like whatever you should be putting on, your face should be calming down, like the sores on your face, basically. Just use like CeraVe or something. I mean, I literally used these. This is like vitamin C serum from Silvana Miracle Organics. I love the clear acne one. This is the plant stem cell one from the same place. I have a discount code, I'll put it on the screen. I think it's like TK for 10% off. If you have acne, try the clear acne retinol. That's the best. And then I'm trying to finish this first aid beauty moisturizer. It's good. It's not my favorite in the world, but it's good. I've been really into skincare and like testing products right now. And so I've been like, kind of messing up my skincare routine just with like different products. And it's fun. I love it. It's like so fun when my skin doesn't break out and I can like have fun with products. Normally skincare I can't really try because I don't want to risk it. This is like the Fenty eye cream. I don't like this bottle situation, but it's good. Eye cream. And then this Glow Recipe lip balm I've been fucking with. It's just like one of these little jars. It's kind of like the Laneige one, but it's more intense, I would say. Love this, but I will say the Laneige ones like taste and smell better. I'm cracking myself up at this PJ set. Like it's so comfy, but it's like, I don't need to be looking like a lumberjack in September, you know? But it's like cute. Does anyone have any PJ recommendations that aren't like $5 million? Like I want cute PJ sets that are comfy, but don't look like this, this is from Victoria's Secret. I want like chic, but cute and fun and like affordable. Maybe just like under a hundred, I don't know. Today's gonna be such a fun vlog because I forgot about all the house updates I've done. Obviously I've shown y'all on TikTok, so follow me there. I'll show you all this shit later. I wanna right now make my to-do list make a coffee, get some shit done, and book my workout class for today, and then get my video up. I'm just gonna get my video up now, fuck it. Fuck it. I need to talk about this top. I got it from Viore. I already have the black one, and I'm so obsessed with it. I've been like bringing it everywhere I go when I travel and stuff, and that's when you know when you're like, fuck, where's that top? I wanna pack it. That's when you know it's a good top. This is like such a nice buttery ribbed fabric, but there's a, built-in sports bra underneath. Normally I'm not a gray girly, but I like, cause th this gray is like almost white. So anyway. Okay, here's the top I was talking about. I hate when things have these things. I was really wanting to go to Pilates today, but there weren't any classes available. I think I'm gonna go to the gym instead. I kinda wanted to like walk because I'm so sore from like all the workouts I've been doing. And I'm playing pickleball tonight. I really wanna get to 10,000 steps today. And then maybe I'll do the Stairmaster because that's always like a really hard workout. My video is finishing uploading. I'm gonna make a coffee, do the to-do list and read. And I have a big call at 1 p.m. So I'd like to get my like walking gym workout in before then. This is something I'm learning about like working from home is like, there's always things to be doing in my house. Like there's always fucking laundry. There's always clothes that need to be put away. There's always something that needs to be organized. There's always a package that needs to be unboxed and like filmed and whatever. There's always a meal I need to be making. Like there's always dumb shit and I, I'm not complaining. I'm just like, this is something I'm learning cause I'm so used to like being on the go working 24 seven then like literally shoving everything to the side, like never having my shit together in any other category of my life. Now I'm trying to manage the categories and I'm like, okay, I actually wanna get work done. Like who cares about the mess in my house right now? Let's just get work done. Y'all know these are my favorite candles in the world. Y'all are gonna think I'm crazy, but something I do when I make iced coffee is I like put iced coffee in my freezer, depending on how much time I have. Sometimes it's like, oh, I have 
10 minutes to spare sometimes I have two minutes to spare but I'll put it in there so it cools down a little so the ice doesn't melt immediately because that fucking drives me nuts also sometimes if I have a lot of time and energy I'll like take a margarita shaker and put ice in there and like shake it up and then pour it over I'm like should I just do that I don't know but I also have these little things I just got in the mail someone sent them they're called magic mind this is the company and it's a little like shot and it's basically the world's first productivity drink this has my name written all over it i don't know if it's going to do anything but it, you're supposed to take it with your caffeine so i'm going to throw these in the fridge so that they're chilled by the time i have my ice I'm literally scared to go to free people's site to like make shit because I'm so obsessed with their shit and I'm trying not to buy stuff right now. Guys, Libby just called me because she booked her flight to come visit me and I'm so fucking excited. Oh my god. I'm gonna make some protein pancakes because it's my current hyperfixation. I got these Kodiak power cakes. I completely distracted myself by fixing and updating my Amazon storefront. I'm not done with it, but if any of you guys are interested in purchasing some stuff from Amazon or are in the shopping mood, definitely click the link below. I'll link my storefront. It's been popping over there. I didn't realize like how much you guys have been buying, so Thank you, what the fuck? It just helps me one because like I earn a commission off of it and the commission isn't like a ton, but it does help like numbers wise to show because I, basically like I am going to be coming out with merch for making moves soon. You heard it here first. It's just good analytically to have like numbers. Even it's good for me to do a test round of merch to see like how much I sell. It's good to have those analytics or like if I wanted to do a live show, then it's like, okay, well she sold this much in merch. Like she could probably sell out this venue or whatever. I don't know. Just like analytical business influencer talk. I honestly am pretty bad or I've always been bad with like linking shit. But honestly, you guys, like I did not have time to like deal with this and now I do. So I'm like, okay, I need to get on top of it. I uploaded my video. Libby called me. She's visiting me in two weeks, which I'm so excited about. I have about 45 minutes till my car, till my call. I'm gonna make some lemon and blueberry pancakes, my current hyperfixation. I take these Kodiak cakes and I put like a half a cup to a cup of like powder. They have 15 grams of protein, but because I use an egg, it's like 20 two grams of protein and I squeeze basically an entire lemon in here. This is definitely an acquired taste, but if you like like fruity pastries and stuff, you might like this. Added some chia seeds. Libby's coming in two weeks, I can't fucking wait. I'm gonna try and like not schedule anything work-wise so I can just like actually have fun with her. We should go to a football game. Libby's like so fun to do literally anything with because she's just like so good with the flow. She really is one of my best teas. Then I'll heat up the pan, put a little bit of butter, olive oil. Adding blueberries all over. Oh my God, perfect. Look at this pancake. This is a drape. Now, this is the key, is if you want them really lemony like me, fresh squeezed lemon. And I do it like around the plate. So there's just like lemon everywhere. But that's because I love lemon shit. And then I do take a little butter and put it on top because it's just so cute. Normally I use fresh maple syrup, like from Canada, but I'm out. So I'm gonna use honey. Is it the healthiest thing in the world? No. Does it satisfy my period cravings and also healthier than the normal average Joe pancake? Yes. Like, bro. I think this is like one of my specialties now. Lemon blueberry chia seed pancakes. My food blogger. So I actually had someone last minute cancel for tomorrow's crossover episode. <laughs> so I had to find someone to fill in, which honestly I've kind of been putting off. I found this out like this morning. It's 2.40 now and I'm like, fuck, I gotta find someone. Anytime this happens, I usually ask people that like I know pretty well because I realize it is so last minute and normally I like to have crossovers booked in like a month or like two weeks in advance just so people have time. Normally it's like I have a list of like dream guests I want 
And then the crossovers are awesome because then I can have like people that I'm friends with um, who are also like so fucking cool and bring so much value. But I already know them so well, so I don't really need to like interview them or a lot of them I've already had on the pod. Someone like Vince, I definitely want to do a solo with him because he's just like so fascinating and fun to be around. I'm so excited because he actually can. I was worried I was gonna have to like really pull strings to get someone to come because it is so last minute. Like what the hell? I think I'm going to finish up that outline so I have it on lock. And then I'm going to listen to my podcast to approve it for today and give a bunch of edits while I put away clothes and clean. Then I'm going to work on my Natalie Barbu outline. And then I also want to save a bunch of TikToks for us to do tomorrow because I have been crushing the making moves TikTok and my personal TikTok. So please go follow me there. All right, guys, I haven't really left this spot. I got so much done. I like finalized the outline. I like set my guests, all the info, stacked all the TikToks I want to make tomorrow. This is from that brand I was talking about, Magic Mind. I was supposed to have it with my caffeine. Let's try it. It's supposed to help you relax, keep you focused and boost your energy. Whoa, it tastes like matcha juice, like matcha mixed with juice. And it's not good, but it's not bad. I'll let you know if I feel a little boost of energy or something. Here we come. See, that's not hard. Let's try it with some rhythm. Here we go. I am reading The Defining Decade. This is embarrassing because I feel like I showed this in like a few vlogs ago, which was like a long time ago. I started it a while ago and I was really into it at first and then I kind of got bored. I don't know, there's a few chapters in here that like are just the chapters. It's like the episode in a show you just gotta push through. I do think it's worth the read. I'm almost done. I would love to finish it by the end of the week. I will be sending it to one of you guys when I am done with it. So definitely comment down below, bookworm, if you wanna be a part of that. Hopefully next week I can send out like my first two books which is Daisy Jones and Six and this book and you can read it and then send it to the next Dirty Forker. I feel like that would be like a fun little community thing to do all together. I love a book that makes me think and helps me learn new things. I've never been a reader and I'm trying to get into it more and I, I, I quite literally have to force myself. It's like a habit I'm trying to build. I like interweaving with the like romance novels and stuff, interweaving a kind of self-help nonfiction educational book just because I think it's good. Like I'm not in school anymore. I used to be reading and learning so much all the time. Like I need to be learning something new every day, at least. The easiest way I can do that is by having a good book. Yeah, or listening to a podcast. I really like Andrew Huberman's podcast. His, I like learn a fuck ton of stuff from. That is my review on this book. I'll let you know what I like fully think after it. Right now I'd probably give it like four stars out of five. It's definitely worth the read, especially if you're in your 20s. <laughs> Before the sun goes down completely, I wanted to show you my new additions to my house. Ah! First things first is this gorgeous fucking lion print that I ended up getting printed from a photo Haley Ringo took when we were in South Africa. It is so huge. I'm super fucking pumped about it and I just could not be more obsessed with how it looks. It was a small fortune, but thankfully Haley is an angel. She gave me the actual print for free and then I got it printed at Bay Photo. I think like $250 and then the custom framing was the big daddy part and that was about, I would say $1,500. And I've never spent that much on an art piece or really just like anything like hanging in my house. Normally this would be like literally thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars, probably like 10 to 20,000 and the fact that like it has so many memories and like sentimental value and a story behind it and I love like stories and experiences and I don't know I just love like memories so that's really cool and I did get it matted which I feel like if you were planning on getting anything in your house framed definitely always get it matted because it looks so much more expensive and when it's not matted which is essentially that white border around the photo it like 
takes away from the photo. Like I feel like the frame does and it looks way more luxurious. This photo is matted. This isn't. This one looks way more expensive. Haley actually told me that tip. Then when you walk in to this bedroom, this is my hyphenated room. It's like my glam and closet and studio room. Here is my PR shelf with all of my fabulous gifted products that I am so grateful and lucky to have. Like, what the fuck? I don't care how many packages I get. Like, this is so fucking cool. Crazy to me. My favorite thing about it is like, one, I keep it here and have it kind of on display because I truly like to go through as much as I possibly can. And then secondly, I do like to have it out because I do like let my friends come in here and shop or, you know, if they're going home and they want to give their, you know, mom something or cousin something or little sister something or whatever the fuck. I have it for that reason. I also just like to make little goodie bags sometimes when I go on trips or like I'm visiting people. Down here is like skin and kind of body products. Here's just like some Fenty stuff. Like it's all pretty much by brand. This is where things get more, I guess, organized, like by category. This is skincare mainly, except for this like day product. Lip stuff, Benefit Cosmetics, random shit. Again, this is all Charlotte Tilbury. I don't know, this is like a lot of hair. I'm just trying to organize it, sort of, so it's like easy to find things. And like, guys, I'm constantly, like when I'm getting ready in here, I'll like come out here and be like, hmm, what should I try? Then this is the beautiful, Glam room. I should have filmed this like five minutes earlier. What the fuck, TK? Here is this amazing closet edition. I ended up getting this built from Ikea. My brother built it. I fucking love it. I just needed more storage. I was worried about putting this couch here, but I love it. This like sounds stupid, but when I'm getting ready, I can like see the friend I'm talking to so easily. And the other day I was getting ready and had friends here and it was like so fun. I love this light, it's from Bright Tech. I kind of displayed it with like shoes and purses because like honestly I needed the storage. How I organized it was I basically did fun dresses, hoodies, button downs, and denim. And then over here I have a nail polish holder. I will have it linked in my Amazon storefront down below. And then this is a gorgeous little art piece that Ollie got me. And then if you turn around, this I got built from Ikea. Honestly, don't love that it like sticks out right here, but I don't fucking care. It's like a mess in there. It's more storage containers up there. Obviously we have my vanity. The desk portion is from Ikea. The mirror is from Glamcore. 1 million percent recommend both things like so good and then up here I decorated with vintage tennis rackets because y'all know I grew up playing tennis yeah I got these vintage tennis rackets from Etsy and I love them they're so cute if you have any other decor requests or recommendations or questions leave them below in the comments first things first you're a superstar breaking on the scene you gotta believe if you I'm getting ready for today's podcast. Every time I get to the studio, I try and get here before everyone, obviously, and get set up so that way just like everything's a breeze. This is what the studio looks like when I'm recording a crossover. It's so fucking chaotic, but I love it. I also brought Alani News for my guests because every time I have one, someone always says something like, oh my God, that looks so good. So I was like, you know what? I have enough at home. I'll bring them. If they don't want them, they don't have to have them. This is the Kim K flavor. It's called Kim K, Kim Aid. It's really good. And then this is their Witch's Brew October one. I set up my computer. This is like always my chaotic corner. corner. This is my tripod for TikToks afterwards. And I think I'm gonna go pee now and fix my hair. I mean, look at Kylie go, you guys. Go, Kylie, go. Go, Kylie, go. <laughs> you guys. You're doing amazing, sweetie. Lila, 
just absolutely slayed. We just talked my for so fucking long. I am mm-hmm. not even sure if I had a if I took a breath. She dropped some tea, some knowledge, some resources. She went. There's crazy. some knowledge in this fucking high pony. Mm-hmm. Don't even play with me. Also, look at her outfit. She literally looks like a first lady. Are you kidding me? Where's the outfit? Give us an OOTD. So this outfit, you know, is just a simple white fox boutique. Oh wow! I feel like everybody needs a good blazer. Okay. Because you never know when you're gonna have to spill some fucking tea on making moves. Yeah. ITK. Okay. Or run for fucking Senate or have an orgy. <laughs> so it has buttons to, you know, unbutton. Perfect. I actually have Easy a really access. cute, like, slutty bra under Wait, it. But I was like, it's so classy. cute. Like, I kind of liked it buttoned. It was Yeah. Fun. And so, then what, sh- where are the shoes from? Don't even, don't zoom in on the toes. Okay, I won't zoom in on the toes. Where are the shoes from? <laughs> I have no idea. No idea. I like Steve Madden. Steve Madden's my go-to. You need to do this hairstyle more. It's really uh, this cute. This is my favorite hairstyle ever, and you will never not see me with it. I Wait, think really? My new, this is my new go-to for sure. You look fab. Thank you. I love you. Love you. Stay tuned, y'all. <laughs> the girls are back. Hey. Hi! Welcome to Making Moves with TK. Slay. You know, everywhere you listen to podcasts. You gotta watch our episode. We had another person here. Drew was with us. I love that I'm speaking into the microphone when mm-hmm. it's definitely not connected, but it feels official and good, right? How was the show? The, the show was good, and it was goofy and silly, and I think it was a really nice mix of getting to know us if you don't know us, but then also enjoying spending time with us if you do. Same. And seeing how dumb we are. Oh, God. We had a real dumb debut. Mm-hmm. Like, during the trivia? Dumb. Jesus. Dumb reveal. But one but of the winners cute. is sitting in this room. Mm. Yeah. I'll say that. Sneak peek. <laughs> Sneak peek. Comment down below who you thought won. I also never know who's going to be, like, randomly really good at trivia. So I have to do, like, some easy ones, some really hard ones. Your question's eight. Well, I tried. <laughs> the entertainment was actually very hard for all of us, yeah, actually. We're just dumb. But not the first ones, the Drake and the Taylor Swift. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling plenty.